We're heading on up to 133 pounds. Very excited for this one. NCAA champion Nathan Tomasello taking on Stefan Micic. Familiar opponents here. They met in both freestyle and folk style. Left side high crotch attempt from Nathan Tomasello. Tomasello, the winner of all the previous meetings. Last time these two met in folk style, it was, in a, it was a major decision for Tomasello. But that was back in 2014. Micic since transferred from Northwestern to Michigan, took an Olympic red shirt, regular red shirt, and now he's back in action, or in action for the first time for the Wolverines. Tomasello trying to get to that left side high crotch. So minute 48 in, neither guy getting to a leg. Micic had a crazy semifinal against Mitchell McKee. Got, gave up the first three takedowns, but used a reversal riding time and a takedown of his own to win the match in overtime. Good job controlling the ties as Nathan Tomasello can move you around a little bit. There's a little shot attempt there. And you got to be careful anytime you change your level. And your shot's got to be true when you're, you're shooting against Nathan Tomasello and some of the best front headlock stuff in the game. He can get to the angle extremely quickly. Now two on one is Tomasello. Oh, they're going to warn him. You know, interesting, because it was kind of Tomasello's shot, but Micic came up two on one, and he used that rule to his advantage. So we got a stall warning against Nathan Tomasello, and we'll see if that warning proves to be uh, impactful here. Good fake there by Tomasello. Another shot, and there's a warning against Stefan Micic. And I tell you what, I, I've noticed these officials are calling stalling early, and I've been loving it. First period scoreless. Someone, there aren't many scoreless first periods where someone hasn't been warned for stalling, and that's that's a good thing. So we'll head to the second. Flip comes red for Tomasello. He's going to defer to Micic. Micic out of Indiana. State champion there, great wrestling state. Tomasello, out of Ohio. He goes tight waist ankle. Tomasello, kind of an underrated turner. Although he's not gonna get anything going here. Quick escape and immediate shot, left side high crotch by Stefan Micic. He's great here, now he's up to his feet in good position. Could he get one and then two? Micic in good position. This is not, this is not Tomasello's strong suit defending leg attacks here. Now he's trying to step in. And Thomas, did Tomasello grab the singlet there? I didn't see it, but the straps don't lie. I was watching the trip attempt, and they're not gonna call it. As Micic was a little frustrated, you could tell. But <laughs> Tomasello able to evade in what was a great scoring opportunity and good transition. As soon as he got on that escape, got to the left side high crotch and nearly finished, but couldn't quite. So dodging a bullet there. And that, as I say that, Tomasello in on a sweep single, up to his feet with it. Wizzer from Micic. Now that Wizzer's clear, and as, as Tomasello goes club, trips behind, close to two, and the two was given. Uh-oh. We're going to see this one waved off or challenged one or the other. 
Sean Bormack, Kellen Russell, not pleased. And the hand touched, but was was Tomasello behind? I'm, I'm not sure of that. So two's the call. Sean Bormack definitely going to challenge this. And I don't, I don't really, I would need to see it again to really be able to, you know, give an idea of what I see, uh, <laughs> of what really happened. It's going to be a close call. And, and the question here is it has to be conclusive. You know, there can't be, well, well, probably wasn't a takedown. Maybe if it, if they can't determine that it for sure wasn't a takedown, then the takedown's going to stand. So early thoughts here is, is Micic is right here in, in this match. Um, and he took an early loss to, actually, Thomas Sell's teammate, Brandon Fitzgerald of Ohio State. Got pinned, kind of a crazy move. But he's been otherwise really solid this season. And he's someone where, it, you know, you don't know where someone that kind of takes a year and go, does the freestyle route, you don't know where they're going to be when they come back. Well. Mijic has looked great and looks like someone, and the takedown's going to stand. So Mijic going to have the opportunity to tie it up if he can get an escape. Minute to go in the second period. Riding time at 12 seconds for Tomasello. As he goes claw ride. We'll see if Tomasello can do a, a slightly better job. No, he cannot. Great bottom work from Stefan Mijic. Not able to fire off that quick leg attack like he did last time around where he gets the escape. Fires off the attack. Tomasello looking left side high crotch. Can't get it. And you see Micic continuing to look for that two on one. That's his favorite tie. Although he's really good with elbow control as you see him go elbow control right side. Tomasello, a really good hand fighter. There you see him faking that sweep single. Their left side high crotch attempt again from Nathan Tomasello, and that'll do it for the second. We'll head to the third. Tomasello gonna have choice. He's going under. Quick stand up from Tomasello, and he's out. 3-2 lead for Nathan Tomasello. Michic got have to get something going on his feet. But Tomasello, not likely to relent in his pursuit of more points. There's a shot, but looking, there you can see Tomasello immediately gets his feet moving to the right as he's looking for that go behind. But good awareness by Michic, able to square up and avoid that takedown. 90 seconds to go, another shot from Tomasello. Another shot, and if, if Micic doesn't fire off some attacks of his own, I feel like he's going to give up a stall point. There's a good level change from Micic. Three to go. He's just staying in there and battling as he goes two on one. Tomasello does a great job clearing. There's a shot, misdirect attempt from Nathan Tomasello trying to throw that by. Now there he sees that go behind. But once again, Michic does a great job and another attack out of Nathan Tomasello. Now 30 seconds to go, another high crotch from Nathan Tomasello. Now he's building up, picks him up, trying to switch to a double. Locking that far arm is Stefan Micic preventing him from doubling off, but he picks him up, puts him down. Now they're sitting 
sitting on his butt is Stefan Mitic, 15 seconds to go, but he's gonna need to somehow finagle this into a takedown of his own, whereas Tomasello can just hang in this position here. So he could potentially work for a finish, but doesn't need the finish, five seconds to go. And Nathan Tomasello gonna hang on for the 3-2 win.